hi everyone welcome back to my channel um i have been feeling so creative as of lately and um, just feel like i've been learning a lot um ooh, ooh, the wind's coming to confirm it um no but um i just feel like i've been learning a lot in my own kind of journey and practice and i always find that like when i'm learning and um acquiescing knowledge and like feeling like I'm really really connected and tapped in that's usually when like other people either need to hear the lessons the most um or someone else is going through something similar or just like you like usually when I have these periods of like flow and like learning and just feeling really connected my goal is like trying to share that with you guys so it can kind of like keep going and then maybe you can share it with someone else too and just like make a change in your life you know all of this is to say like i said i feel like i've been kind of like leveling up in a sense i feel like spiritually there's periods where we have kind of stagnation and i don't mean that it's like a sense of like a negative thing it's just sometimes like we're where we're at and we're either not ready to go to the next level or um, sometimes it's fun to be kind of just like where you're at and comfortable. So um, I feel like for a while I've been kind of just like like coasting spiritually. I like kind of now recently I've been getting a lot of insights. I don't want to say I'm like leveling up or anything, but I just been feeling more tapped in. So if you see a lot of videos coming on the channel, it's just because right now I'm feeling really inspired and um like I want to share, you know? So, <clears throat> excuse me before I get into the video. Um, what today's video is going to be about is uh, quick ways to shift your energy. So this is going to be a quick video, fairly, in comparison to some of my longer videos. And this is going to be like a couple of tips that I have to shift your energy um, when you're feeling either like a little bit tired, stressed, depressed, anxious, Anything that doesn't necessarily feel great physically in your body, these are some suggestions on how to shift that energy. Now, one thing I want to say is I don't mean this in like the sense of like a spiritual bypass. Like I don't want you to use these as like masking tools necessarily, but sometimes we do need to shift our energy. Um, like, especially if you've been sitting with like a depressed energy for a long time or an anxious energy for a long time, Sometimes you need to snap yourself out of it. Like I said, sometimes those feelings are there to teach us something deeper. And so we, we want to sit with them and take the time to like get to know them and, and feel comfortable with them and give them a space to be heard. So I'm not suggesting that we always want to quickly shift our energy. But like I said, if it's been there for a while and like you feel like you're just like, come on, it's time. I need to change. I need to shift. These are just some quick ways when you're going about your day that you can do that. And again, like sometimes we need to sit with them. Sometimes we can't. Sometimes we don't even have the luxury of doing it, okay? So five, not five. <laughs> I don't even know how many there are, but there's some quick, these are some quick ways to shift your energy. Let's get into it. First one, go for a walk or go outside, okay? If you are sitting on your phone all freaking day, watching me, watching someone else on YouTube, scrolling Instagram, scrolling Twitter. First of all, of course, you're going to feel down. Social media has a role in life, right? Sometimes it um, is a good thing. Sometimes it helps people connect, right? But sometimes it makes us feel insignificant, right? We're comparing ourselves. Sometimes we have a tendency to compare ourselves to other others. Um, and it's not a helpful thing. So too much of a good thing is a bad thing, right? So get off your phone, go outside, take a walk, right? Take a walk, no music, nothing, no phone, just you, just nature. Go outside, take a walk. Just, like literally any time of the day. If you can't do that um, because it's cold where you are, super hot where you are, okay, fine. There's more tips for you <laughs> that I have. The next tip I have for you is deep breaths. So um, deep breaths. Um, before I go into deep breaths, I actually wanted to say one more thing on the going outside part. <clears throat> yes, it may be hot where you are. It may be cold where you are. Um, put on a jacket. Wear something, wear something uh, like light if it's too hot. Because, like, I get it. 
it might be uncomfortable but there you really do need to go outside and like experience this earth we are humans like we're meant to be connected to this earth we came from her so like i kind of want to push back a little bit if any of you guys are are having resistance to going outside and going for a walk um i know there's people with actual conditions like agoraphobia things like that again i have anxiety myself but go for a walk go outside see people see nature again you need to connect with this earth okay next one is deep breaths deep breaths okay you can um either do something guided like you can go on youtube and look up deep breathing like techniques um or you could be something as simple as you literally just pausing well let's try it right now let's try it right now okay so i want you to close your eyes okay and we're closing our eyes and i'm going to have you imagine that as you breathe in you're breathing in golden light okay so take a deep breath in in and breathe out all that golden breathe in all that golden light and then I want you to release and breathe out that negative energy and we're gonna do this on a count of one to five so breathe in one two three four five and breathe out one two three four five Okay, that was just a little example. See how you feel now. Hopefully you feel better. Maybe you don't. But it's an example to show you how much your breath has to do with how you're feeling. <clears throat> your breath is a piece and a source of your spirit, your energy, right? Our exhaling, like what we exhale, again, it's a piece and a source of our spirit. So, so is what we inhale, right? We need to inhale and get oxygen into our bodies because our bodies respond to oxygen, right? You got to oxygenate all this blood, right? Because you have all this human body. It needs oxygen. It needs to breathe. The cells in your body need it to function, right? So that's why I suggest deep breathing. It also, obviously your breath is connected to your heart. So it helps to slow things down. It slows your mind down. It slows your heart rhythm down. It slows everything down for you and it helps to put things back into kind of like a homeostasis, homeostatic mode. So deep breathing, especially helpful when you're feeling really anxious, you're feeling, um, could be even claustrophobic, just like too much, too much, you know, too much stimulation. Some deep breaths are super, super helpful. Okay, third quick way to shift your energy. Drink some fucking water. Drink some water. I know you're not getting enough water. You will wonder why you have a headache have you drank enough water today? How much water have you drank in? We as humans are, I think it's what, 70% water? Something crazy like that. It's over 50%. I know that. Like, I want to say 70, 80, something crazy amount of water. Because we came from the freaking ocean, right? The first species on earth, oceanic beings, right? It was all water at one point. And then we evolved um, eventually to be humans. But we still have all this water. Our body runs on water, just like oxygen, your breath um can help slow you down and regulate things so does water your water and your body helps regulate things so take drink some water drink some freaking water that's another quick way to shift your energy and if you just want to think metaphysically about like what does water mean well water is connecting to our feelings our emotions it's a nourishing presence right you think about water and um like if you for example this has been proven if you have a glass of water right and before you um, drink that water, you yell at it and you tell it horrible things. The water molecules will be very, very scattered, right? But it's if you take the water and you tell it loving things, it actually shifts and it's more, the molecular structure is more put together. So think about that in terms of what's going into your body too, that water, you could even speak into your water manifestations. So. Water is super, super important for us. Again, not just like spiritually, but like just physically at a human level. Drink some freaking water, please, folks. Okay. <laughs> All right. The next tip I have for you is um, eat. Eat something. Okay. So um, this could be eating something yummy, but also cooking something yummy. Some people love to cook. If you hate to cook, then okay, don't cook something yummy. <laughs> um, go get a meal at your favorite restaurant, right? Eat something yummy, um, but not only yummy preferably something that's yummy and also nourishing for your body right um so something healthier would be ideal you want to choose foods that nourish your body just in general like 
recommend that, especially if you're trying to shift your energy um, and you're just eating takis and hot Cheetos, like baby, that food does not have any pretty much real nutritional value. Sure, it's made of corn. Corn is a great source of um, nutrition otherwise, but that's processed corn. It's like highly processed GMO corn. So the reason I bring up the example of the takis and hot Cheetos is because it's processed food. We all eat processed food, right? And that's okay. I'm not bagging on anyone, but we're trying to shift your energy, right? Quick ways to shift your energy. Eat something to give yourself energy. Your body needs it. You are on this 3D plane, so your body physically needs food to function and to keep going. But try and choose something, especially if you're trying to shift your energy quickly, right? Like you're having a bad day. Choose a nourishing meal. See if you can cook yourself a nourishing meal. Um, and I think, I think that would really help to shift your energy. And um, it would go a long way, let me tell you. Okay, so make sure you're eating enough, drink enough water. So far we have those two and then deep breaths, like breathing ex exercises, um, going for a walk and getting out into nature is another one. And now we're going to go on to the next one, which is something that's more of a surface level, but I don't think it should be knocked. Um, that is take a shower, take a shower. Um, and maybe not just shower. Maybe you don't want to shower. Okay. Maybe, maybe you, um, want to be stank. Okay. Or maybe you already showered the day before and you don't want to shower today, whatever. Maybe don't shower, but get dressed up. Make yourself feel pretty. Make yourself feel presentable. Uh, because at least I know for me, it helps when I feel good about myself physically. Like when I feel pretty, when I feel cute. Okay. I am more apt to go into the world. I feel better about myself. So I feel better about others. And like, I want to connect with others more. Um, and ultimately that's why we're here. So make yourself feel hot, make yourself feel beautiful, fly and sexy, all of that. Um, and again, it's like just like an instant confident boost for me. And um, I think it can be for you too. So put on your makeup, do your hair, get your nails done, do your makeup, um, <clears throat> shave, uh, whatever you want to do, whatever helps you feel, feel like good about your body. Maybe don't shave. I don't know. Whatever, whatever's going to make you feel good about your body. That's something that you can control right in the moment, right? Physically and make yourself feel better. So, uh, shower, get dressed, get cute, change something about your physical appearance really quickly in the now quick way to shift your energy. Okay. How about the next one, which is, this one is kind of like, um, this one that I'm going to say journal is this one, but overarching theme is letting things out like letting them out um because you could also talk to a friend like call a friend right um but let's just say journal because maybe the friend you called doesn't answer didn't pick up at the time something you can do really quickly is journal how you're feeling if you're feeling shit or write it down because when you write something down you're putting pen to paper you're getting it out it's a way of releasing right and um then a lot of the times you feel better because like you purged it right you said what you had to say, you let it out, and then you can just kind of go about your day. Sometimes the feelings, it's its a little bit more complicated than that, especially if it's a really deep thing. But in the moment, I can almost guarantee you, you're gonna probably feel a lot better just like letting it out. Because sometimes we don't let, let shit out when we need to, and we don't communicate. So then giving ourselves that space in like a journal, um, or again, talking to a really trusted friend, um, it's, it's therapeutic, it's cathartic, right? Because you're purging that, you're letting it out. So, yeah maybe maybe even on this note scream if you have to scream just take a pillow and like scream into it okay just release that pent-up energy on the topic of releasing pent-up energy this is similar to on the line along lines of go for a walk right because it's something physical exercise exercise quite literally like makes you feel better because again it's a release of pent-up energy so um you think of Martian energy, right? Mars is action, but it's also sex. It's aggression. Exercise to me is like sex. It's releasing pent up aggression. So that's why you feel so good after you work out. Cause it's like a way your physical body's moving. Right. And then on the, like the, the physical body, like physiology level. Okay. It releases endorphins, right? It releases also something that you may not know is endocannabinoids, which endocannabinoids are like, um, basically like chemicals within your body, right? It's the same thing that's released when you get high. Like if you ever smoke marijuana or you take an edible, whatever, can cannabinoids are like CBD, THC, and they make you feel good, right? Like you feel calm, you feel relaxed. Well, some people, not all people respond to uh, like marijuana, like greatly. But the reason I say this 
is because working out actually releases endocannabinoids as well. So it's not just the, um, the uh, endorphins and the lowering of cortisol and stress hormones like that. It's also the release of endocannabinoids, which is good, healthy, feel good hormones in the body. So if you can work out, okay. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be anything major. Um, although getting a sweat and really breaking a sweat can definitely like make the effects last longer, you know? And then also too, like working out if, it, uh, like for me, it's a feeling thing, but also I find like, let's say I've been doing like, uh, stairs, right. And then, um, I finish my workout, whatever I go another day, whatever you don't see it right away. But then I look at my ass and I'm like, wait, that goes back to the whole like physical, like feeling pretty thing, like feeling nice um, and like changing things about your physical appearance. That can be like just like an added benefit really um, is like noticing aesthetic changes, but it shouldn't necessarily be your goal. I think your real goal, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but literally the way I feel after I work out, I feel unstoppable. So see if you can get to the gym and work out. I know it's hard to make time. I need to go tonight. I didn't go yesterday. I'm supposed to go yesterday because I'm trying to go four times a week. I went three times a week last week. I'm trying to get on our four times a week shit because winter quarter didn't basically didn't work out at all. So I, I, I want to get back to working out because I like how I feel when I do it. Anyways, I'm ranting now. That's neither here nor there. Working out is another quick way to shift your energy. Okay. The last one I'm going to give you today, if I think of more, um, I'll greatly come back or er, gladly come back and share them with you. Um, and if you have some, leave, feel free to put them in the comments. But the last way is going to be probably for some people because not everyone has the luxury of having pets or not everyone likes animals, which is a topic for a different day. But um, if you have a pet, go pet your pet. If you have a dog, go take the dog out on a walk. Go go play fetch with that dog. If you have cats, cats are playful. They like to, to, to play around. If you have a bunny, I have a bunny. Go, go stroke that bunny's nose. Go feel on that animal. Give them some love. They love you unconditionally. Like your pets love you so unconditionally. It's crazy. Um, and so go, go, go be around them. Like go just, just be around their energy because they have that energy of unconditional love. And like you physically, like kinesthetically, when you're touching them, you're petting them, you're playing with them, you feel better. Or let's say like you have a reptile, right? Okay. Feed your reptile, um, like a worm or something or fish, go stare at them. Just say, hi, I love you. Pets make us feel better. They have that connection with us. Um, and yeah, similarly or alternatively, let's say you don't have a pet. Plants are the same thing. Plants also have that energy of like unconditional love pretty much. Um, like that's why if you talk to your plants, like it's been proven. If you speak again, the same thing with water. If you speak kindly to plants, they will grow better. So maybe go talk to your plants and be like, oh, plants, I'm having oh, like a really rough day. Like what should I do? And then like, see if you can communicate with them. Maybe you can, I don't know, but, um, go be with your plants because even just like being around them, plants have healing energy as well. Maybe go water your plants. I don't know. Um, but all of that is to say, those are my little quick tips to shift your energy. I hope that at least one of the things on this list, I'm pretty sure like at least hopefully one of the things on this list is accessible to you. Cause I know maybe not all of them are for various different reasons. Um, but hopefully you can find just one that is accessible to you and works for you. And then maybe you can try it. Maybe you'll try 10 of them. Maybe you'll try other things. If you have other ones, um, and suggestions, leave them down below. Um, but I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed and, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye.